What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today, I wanted to take a little bit of time and I wanted to talk to you guys about the Hazel specialty change. I know I'm sure a lot of you guys have been hearing that it's not that great, people are saying like it's underwhelming, it's not really that useful, uh, but in today's video I wanted to really like pinpoint and talk about her abilities and the changes to be honest. I feel like the kit is really, 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 really strong. Um, Especially after like looking at it uh, because at first glance when you look at the dev notes or the patch notes um, Due to some translation, you know rough translation issues. It didn't really seem like hazel overall um, Was that strong or the changes were that great? But after you know finishing the specialty and looking at her tree um, You can literally see that the hazel change is absolutely insane So we're gonna look at this right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys about some 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 stuff here, uh, basically the changes to her kit. I'm gonna talk to you guys about why it's effective. Uh, we're gonna talk about some potential weaknesses that you guys could run into overall, and overall, just why doing this change is absolutely worth if you guys are looking for a fire-based healer. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so looking at our first kit here, what this does is increases the inhalable debuff chance by Book of Fire by 25%, okay? When you max this out, it, it increases to a total of 25, which is super effective, especially for you guys who are gonna be running Golem 10. Uh, I personally gonna be running, uh, Golem 11, excuse me. I'm gonna be running Golem 11 um, quite more, uh, or quite a lot more, as a matter of fact, just because I'm starting to see the value of attack sets and health sets uh, overall just when building tanky characters, especially when it's boiling down to guild wars and stuff like that. So, uh, Harvest Rune's healing of Urgent Regen, which is one of her skills, increases by 100% for targets with less than 50%. So it doubles it doubles the heal uh, for her her instant heal, which is really, really nice. Um, and then when you go up here, uh, you look at the health rune, increases her total health by a total of, what, 12, 20%. Okay, so it takes her her her, it, her squishiness that she has inherently, uh, basically t makes her quite a bit more tanky and a lot more formidable when looking at, at, at this character. And it really just takes her to an entirely different level. And we haven't even really gotten into a majority of the utility yet. Now you look at this, you get another uh, 10 speed between these two, which arguably makes her one of the fastest healers in the game. Um, so it takes away that speed uh, handicap away from her. And now she's got decent speed, so she's a lot easier to gear and get into a position where she's using her abilities a lot more. Jump down to here, increases the caster's combat readiness when using urgent regen uh, if the target is a fire elemental hero. So when you're pairing her, let's say, in a golem composite or golem 11, let's say, for instance, uh, she's getting another 10% combat readiness increase every time she uses that urgent heal, is which with the speed increase combined, now she's going to be having a lot more turns, especially when you start to gear her, let's say, if you got her like on a speed attack HP build or a speed attack attack build with HP subs. Uh, you can definitely see Hazel uh, go to work. Okay, and we go over here. Um, Guard Rune has a chance to grant continuous healing to an ally for two turns if the ally is fire elemental when using a girl in uniform uh, with a 20% effect chance. So now you also have a heal over time. Um, so let's say, for instance, you guys are running Ken frontline like me, and she pops this on Ken, adds to her survivability rate, which is really, really nice. Okay. Um, now, let's go over here to the last few tiers. Increases the effectiveness of all fire uh, elemental allies. Uh, you get 10% effectiveness overall. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, that's pretty OP, okay, just to be honest. Uh, it recovers health proportional to the damage dealt after using Book of Fire. Uh, for those of you guys who are uh, in a position where your gear is good enough to, let's say, run like a speed crit damage attack Hazel uh, with HP subs and attack sub to where she's tanky enough to deal damage and, um, and still sustain and be a tank, um, you are in for a treat with the 5% uh, return on damage, which is really nice to add to a little bit of her sustain. Um, she is really, really, really a beast. So now she increases attack of all fire elementals. Okay, so 2%, uh, 5%, so another 10% um, on um, this. Now, I'm not for sure if this this 10% uh, attack is uh, attributed with the actual buff that she does, or if this just affects the, the elements on your team, the fire elements on your team overall. But either way, um, it's still really, really strong. I was playing with her uh, in a team composition with, um, you know, with uh, a couple of teams, and I just wanted to see 
how much she increased the damage like when she used the little super buff on Ken for instance and when I was using Ken and she did that um, it basically took him from standard when he was doing about 11k um, 11 to 12k um, you know with a regular uh, or 11 to 14k with a regular buff it took him to about 18 to 22,000 right I mean it's 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 pretty ridiculous what Hazel brings to the table in terms of you know just cornering a team um, and really making the efficiency of your team better. Um, I think her kit is great. Like, it might be arguable, and again, this is where the weaknesses kind of come into play. It's arguable that just because her focus is fire heroes, you're like, well, where are you going to use it? Because most people aren't going to be running a fire team, um, and let's say in Webern 11, uh, but they're definitely going to be doing Golem, but most people aren't going to be doing Golem. Yes, arguably so, uh, but in those situations where you are running, let's say, Hazel as a healer, because you to be honest, you can use her still in, in uh, Wyvern 11. You still definitely can use her in, in uh, Golem 11. She's still super duper viable if you guys are going to be running, let's say, like a Shuri or Ken or Surin or any other unit, any other fire unit in the game that applies some type of bleed. Um, if Lydica, if and when Lydica comes out, if she's going to be fire, that's also going to be very helpful for her too. Yes, I'm obsessed about that. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I wanted to take a little bit of time and I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about... Um, just her kit overall just because it's it's really really nice and hazel already has some really nice utility and if you guys like i said are looking for a fire healer she definitely 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 um can be super viable um just playing with her a lot i i'm really really enjoying uh what she brings to the table in terms of her specialty change kit um like i said definitely not a mandatory or, or you should do this no matter what type deal but if you guys are looking to expand your roster um Mascot Hazel definitely can be the one for you, um, especially with the way that her kit is set up. And I think she could even be effective in Guild Wars with the combat readiness increase as well. Uh, but that's going to be, that's going to require some testing. So with that being said, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about his specialty change at all, just definitely ask in the comment box below. And uh, that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.